Hi everyone, this is a question set video where I'll be taking some tricky questions. My suggestion would be to solve the question first and then look at my explanation. With this, let's get started with our first question. In questions where they ask you the units digit, you just have to take into account the units digits only. So we, we are not going to take into account the whole 27. We just pay attention to 7. And in case of 13, we'll pay attention to 3 only. So let's find out what are the units digits of 7's powers. So 7 raised to 1 gives the units digit as 7. And 7 raised to 2 gives us 7 square is 49. So 9 is the units digit. 7 cube gives us, just multiply this 9 by 7, so it gives us 3. 7 raised to 4 gives us 1. And in case of 3, we have 3 raised to 1, which gives us 3. 3 square gives us 9. 3 cube gives us 7. 3 raised to 4 gives us 1. So let's solve 7 raised to 15 minus 3 raised to 8. And we are going to only take into account the units digits. So 7 raised to 15 can be written as 7 raised to 12 into 7 raised to 3. 12 plus 3 is 15. Minus 3 raised to 8 can be written as, uh, let's, let's do it uh, this way, 3 raised to, we have the powers of 3 up to 4, we know it. So it can be written as 3 raised to 4 raised to 2. So 4 raised to 2, laws of indices. Again solving it, 7 raised to 12 can be written as 7 raised to, uh, let's say 4, because 7 raised to 4 is 1, raised to 3. 3 4s are 12, into 7 raised to 3. And 3 raised to 4 as 1. The unit digit is 1, 1 square. So again, solving this, 7 raised to 4 is again 1 cube into 7 cube. Actually, 7 cube, the unit digit is 3 minus 1. So the answer could be uh, 1 into 3 minus 1. So 3 minus 1. So the answer is 2. And the correct option is here the option number 2. Question 2. Evaluate this expression. Now, you know, if you look at this 9, 3 by 4, it can be written as 9, 3 by 4. You know, you can write it as 9 plus 3 by 4. With this, let's split all other terms and then evaluate. So you can write the whole expression like this 9 and 9 gets cancelled so you just have 7 plus 3 by 4 plus 2 by 17 minus 1 by 15. Now this you can write 7 plus and you can solve this terms. Now at this point of time these two options can be ruled out easily because um, because here there is 7 and we have a 7 here. Now if you look at these two options both of these denominators are 1020 so naturally in our problem the answer is anyway the denominator is anyway going to be 1020. Now you have to solve the numerator so this is going to be 3 into something else plus 2 into something else minus 1 into something else. Now what could come in this place? So it's it's going to be, let me tell you, 7 plus, uh, we have this division line here, 3 into how many times 4 is 1020. So let me bring up the calculator here. So how many times 1020 is 4? So let's divide 1020 by 4. You get 255. So it is 255 plus 2 into how many times 17 is 1020? So 1020 divided by 17 is equal to 60 minus 1 into how many times 15 is 1020? So 1020 divided by 15 is equal to it's 68 divided by 1020. Now if you solve this, you get the answer as 7 plus. If you solve this completely, you get the answer 817 by 1020. 
which comes out as 7817 by 1020. So the answer here is option number D. Okay, question 3. You know, in this question, you can put 2.81 as A and 1.19 as B and see if you can uh, get some formulas and cut out terms and something like that. So according to our assumptions, we can write this same expression as A cube because 2.81 is, is a cube here plus B cube divided by A square minus this is AB plus B square. Now you can evaluate this. A cube plus B cube is A plus B into A square minus AB plus B square divided by the denominator is A square minus AB plus B square. Now this terms get cut out and you remain with A plus B. Now A is 2.81 and B is 1.19. So 2.81 plus 1.19 and you get the answer is 4.00. So the correct option is this one. Well, that was easy. Let's move on to question four. Which of the following cannot be the square of a natural number? To solve this question, let me write a table on your screen. And this table shows the list of natural numbers from one to 10 and their squares. And if you observe carefully, these squares do not contain the numbers two, three, 7 and 8 in their units place and same is the case with the next 10 natural numbers and the next 10 natural numbers and so on in the options the numbers which do contain these digits 2 3 7 or 8 in their units place is not going to be a natural number so this number 76525 does not contain 2 3 7 or 8 so it is a square. This is also a square. The third one, 44982, contains 2 in the units place. So this is going to be uh, the correct answer for this question. Let's see if others are not squares of a natural number. This one, 604103, contains 3 in the units place. So it is not a square of a natural number. Rest of them are could be squares of natural numbers. So the answers to this question are these two options. Okay, now the fifth and the last question for this video. Which of the following numbers will divide this expression? So first we will have to evaluate this expression. So let me write the expression 8 raised to 31 plus 8 raised to 32 plus 8 raised to 33. Now you can take out 8 raised to 31 as common from this expression. So taking out 8 raised to 31, we get inside the bracket as uh, if we take out 8 raised to 31 from 8 raised to 31, we get 1. From this, we get 8 plus 8 square. Now again, evaluating 8 raised to 31 into we have 1 plus 8 is 9 plus 8 square is 64. Now we get 8 raised to 31 into 73. Now this expression is divisible by 73. So the answer is 73. So that was easy.